Good afternoon, everybody. It's Brad at Yamaha Marine Center. I <clears throat> got a pretty special one for you today. It is a pre owned 2021 Pursuit DC 266. Uh, the boat is. Where is it? 27 feet 4 inches overall, 8 foot 9 on the beam. Uh, weight dry with engines is 6,800 pounds. 21 degree dead rise with about a 22 inch draft. Uh, fuel capacity is 139 gallons and uh, 20 gallon live well, 13 gallon holding tank on the head uh, with a macerated pump out and a uh, pump out for the marina as well cruises at 28 miles an hour with a wide open throttle of 51 miles an hour cruise range is about 307 miles and a 20 gallon freshwater tank and it's sitting on an ameritrail tandem axle aluminum trailer the trailer's not included in the price but uh boats in brokerage the gentleman uh purchased the boat with anticipation of his dock going up unfortunately the local epa cancel the dock because of his location so now he says get rid of the boat until we get the dock thing figured out so his loss is your gain uh, some special things on this boat we added the stainless anchor with the through stem windlass and you can see just like all of the pursuits the anchor is nice and tucked up in the pocket there um, so when the anchor articulates down it actually drops really straight down um, and has a, a really good uh, lay so it hooks up well and fast holds the boat where you want it and you see compared to like that regulator over there where the anchor kind of sticks out well I guess this looks better um, some other special stuff we ordered the boat white and he wanted this custom uh, Alex seal paint it's dolphin gray and it is metallic so it's cloudy out so it does look kind of grayer but it gets really really blue uh, in the Sun and the water when all that metallic starts uh, reflecting it's really pretty um, yeah, and you can see just like every other DC-266, it is uh, made to be what Pursuit calls mission capable. So really steep dead rise up front. Um, I've actually been on uh, the predecessor to this, the DC-265, coming back from Bimini in a pretty heavy sea, and the boat did surprisingly well. I mean, it was constant two to five foot seas. You know, we we're taking waves over the bow, and the boat did phenomenal. Um, and you can see that running surface. Big strakes to help lift the boat. Um, whole length of the boat and then that reverse chine right there and this 266 is actually a better running boat than the previous generation 265 um and i'll show you at the back why that is but that that reverse chine right there has a, a lot to do with it, how aggressive it stays tosses water out in a way so you know relatively dry boat <clears throat> we also custom painted the engines we do have uh, Yamaha decals for it that are actually the same decals that come on the XTO series so we did uh, the raise like on this 300 XTO we did the raised chrome logos to go on there on either side sorry I know I'm flipping around a lot don't want to make anybody sick so we'll be putting those raised logos on the engine on the side there here shortly <clears throat> back of the boat we did the um, sea blaze quattro underwater lights and of course it comes standard with Lenko trim tabs and all of the pursuits now are featuring the extended swim platforms here that actually make it really nice because you can see when the engines are trimmed down you have a lot of room to move around uh, on the transom and then you can also use both sides of the swim platform you know if you're diving or just swimming and then the engines trim nice and tight in there so if you got little or kids swimming around you get the engines tucked you know all the way up underneath they're a little further away from the props when they're uh, swimming by the platform so that makes it kind of nice um, integrated swim ladder I believe it's a six step Three on either side, garlic, ladder, those work nice, come in handy. And then entering the boat, you can see the nice wide platform getting in. You got the door to close everything off. We got some raw water, fresh water back here. Uh, we have our courtesy lights, which is the white light here. And then we also have the mid-level lighting on this boat for the blue LEDs. So that looks really pretty. Uh, ski pylon, powder coated, that was additional and nice big insulated box back here you can use for a fish box or just cooler space if you're not doing any fishing your fresh water fills back here big live well what i say is like 20 gallon maybe looks about 20 gallon and then the aft fold out seat 
is standard on the boat and you can see nice beefy hardware on both sides so you don't get the rattling and squeaking and stuff like that and then we also have one on the port side which makes a nice big L lounger back here for entertaining and then of course you have your cup holder that pops out all uh, the little touches and then we also added a charger two bank charger because being in dry stack uh, he was able to plug the boat in occasionally not that he used it much the boat has seven hours on it and it was delivered in March of 2021 you can see in the bilge there's that charger batteries B75 Aramar transducer we installed all your pumps and stuff are easy to get to all your bilge water management is under this liner so you can see those limber holes allow water down into the actual bilge and then the pump is tucked way back in there I think you have to access the bilge pump through the pie plates back here for maintenance or replacement but also in the thicknesses of everything it's what I really like about pursuit How everything's made to just a an offshore standard I guess you would call it but you can see they even take the time to paint this which is usually exposed uh, resin so it usually looks pinkish or reddish and then they you know paint it to give it a more finished look and everything's resin transfer molded as far as the deck hatches and things to so make them really stiff so when you're walking on you don't feel them creaking and cracking um, you have a cooler underneath this aft facing seat as you can see I neglected to remove his ice bag I need to get all the stuff out of here and then <clears throat> the entertainment area sink cutting board got some storage down here bucket for garbage and stuff and then what I really like they did over the 265 other than you know which I was going to show you back there but the 265 was a rounded transom because they used to run a single uh, 350 on the boat and now they're only running twins um, so I'll show you that dead rise when we get off the boat don't let me forget guys but you have a tackle uh, some storage in here and then you have the companion seat and then the helm seat which is uh, forward and aft adjustable and it also swivels so you can kind of turn around and stare at people while they're over here and then we did not do the cust or the factory install we ended up doing a custom install because he wanted twin screens so this is one of the biggest advantages of not doing the factory installs they'll only offer one 8612 so we did an 8612 xsv and then a non-xsv unit but you can see because it's a 2021 we got the new digital electronic controls uh from yamaha so it's the newest binnacle so this is like the best binnacle you can get from yamaha right now so it's fully capable of doing helm master and stuff unfortunately it is uh still hydraulic power assist steering but it does have power assist so adding helm master becomes a little bit more difficult we'd have to swap the steering out and all that stuff but that's for another video and then we have a jl audio and then a 6yc display so all the good gauges good gear um can't get that cover back on one hand what else up here garmin vhf 315 you can see the remote mic and lcd display with your speaker over here and then what I really like about the boat, especially if you're going to use it for family stuff, is the storage in here is amazing. I mean, you can smuggle kids in here if you need to, full-grown adults. And then that's where the through hole is, too, for the overboard discharge and deck drains and all that kind of stuff. But, I mean, you can put floats, wakeboards, skis, anything. Um, little glove box. I don't know what you're going to put in there, but put stuff wherever you can. More storage. Uh, head, you can see all uh, Corian countertops. Real wood veneer on the on the cabinet there. So you don't have to worry about water and stuff like that. Plenty of headroom. I mean, I'm vertically challenged, not height gifted. So I really don't worry about stuff like that. But even the hard top, I've had taller people tell me that they increased the hard top height from the previous model as well so they don't have to stoop and duck as much um, unfortunately one detriment to the boat that i found so far is he didn't option it with canvas because he was planning on having a boathouse so the eyes and glass connector is not here we don't have a forward storage cover and then the aft cover um didn't come with the boat either not that we can't have them made but it's just one of those things and then in here you can see the stowage for your bow table and then your bow filler also 
and there's the bow table right there and then the two filler cushions that just pop in up front and fully enclose this and then that's the mount for the table right there so you can entertain all day long and you see when the windshield closes and this is one of the things i like most about these 266s is the uh molded fiberglass windshield so it gives you a lot more structure than like an aluminum scaffold so you can run bigger panes of glass and then you don't have as much uh, support bars like the hard top so that's really the only obstruction you have so when you're driving this boat sitting down you know the support bar isn't like right in your eyeball right there you can actually see through the windshield um and even me when i'm standing up i can still almost fully see through the windshield uh yeah Here's the anchor locker with the windlass, which you can control via remote right there through that plug, or you can control the dash and you can see the structure that they put in the boat uh, to support the windlass so it doesn't just get bolted to the deck somewhere. It actually gets bolted to um, a structural member. So, you know, it's, a, it's really a big boat building philosophy in a smaller product. I mean, not that this 26 is a teeny boat by any means, but, you know, from the other stuff they make. Uh, cushions are fixed on the forward seats, but you can see you can fold them up out of the way. And then these boxes are insulated if you want to use them for, you know, fish storage or just cooler storage or whatever. Everything drains overboard. That's another important thing. Um, but fit and finish on the boat is phenomenal overall, especially the lines on this new 266. Uh, the boat looks very contemporary. Looks like it's moving when it's sitting still. You know, all that salesman jargon stuff. But I wanted to remember to show you the dead rise on the boat because the 265, you can see this is a 21 degree boat. Nice, steep, even on the back of the boat, help you cut through all that chop. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions on this boat or anything else that we might have on the lot, feel free to call Barton or Brad, 904-644-7631. Or you can always reach us on the website, yamahamarinejax.com.